Hello everyone, back again. I've got some uh, interesting work I'm doing with the uh, Tesla magnifying transformer. Uh, this would be the uh, primary down here, two turns, secondary, and the extra coil resonator, and then uh, top load. Just using some uh, some cans there, so. Um, okay, so I've got kind of this weird, kind of a slinky looking uh, waveform that kind of springs out and back and it kind of does that little compression kind of a look to it, kind of sliding back and forth. And the frequency is uh, about a thousand kilocycles. A thousand uh, forty kilocycles. Okay, so um, we can tune that up and down. We've got a bulb between uh, the base of the secondary and uh, the ground, so I can kind of tune with that. Uh, when I tr go to reach across that bulb, though, it really dims it, uh, changes the impedance somehow and puts it out of tune, but uh, what's interesting is on the radio here, you can hear this here, I'll, uh, I'll tune it so that it goes into tune with the radio. That's a pretty strong one. Okay, so now I'm at 1.3 megahertz. I'm gonna go down in a few decimals. Okay, and you'll see the antenna is on this ground wire. And, uh, connected to this neon but not not looking for the neon to light just that it's on this uh, antenna and I'll, I'll detach it this is the ground wire a separate ground wire 10 meters away uh, that was a disaster So anyway, we've got the ground wire. This is the antenna. So from using the ground as the antenna, we're able to get that a lot cl more clear. Pretty cool. So we can actually uh, go through frequencies. And that's tuned right around 1.3 megahertz. And then it, the impedance changes with my hand close. Anyway, that's pretty cool. You can uh, see the tune on the radio. <laughs> so I'm going to tune back down to get the perfect tuning and get the bulb lit back up. Just tune that back up. It's about the strongest around uh, one megahertz. 
and that works out just about right for the uh, diagram on the Eric Dollard uh, on Eric Dollard's uh, site. He's posting uh, about ten picofarads uh, on the top load, and about a thousand kilocycle tune, and that's pretty close to what we got here. Uh, you can see it's really sensitive to uh, to things next to it. So you want to keep things away from it when you're tuning, not like I'm doing. <laughs> this is just to kind of demonstrate it's working. Um, so next I'm going to put some high voltage to it, but I need to refine my spark gap. Uh, I need that to uh, be on a rotary gap, just so I can set a uh, you know many kilohertz uh, uh, kind of a frequency with just the spark gap. Um, anyway, that is pretty cool. And then with that uh, separate ground wire with the neon, I can see it, you know, lights up, just getting close to it. And we're only putting about 7 volts in RMS. Uh, I showed the output of this thing, uh, just the signal generator a while back. So it's looking like it's a pretty good tune. So I'm going to build a second one of these with uh, another frame and uh, set up that, uh, that metal sheet like he was showing as well. It's kind of uh, it goes onto the base and it just kind of sits up here next to it um, and that's uh, going to be coming up with uh, better output. It shows like a 100 watt bulb on the output of the receiver um, and it picks up uh, just like this radio but you can tune into the power essentially and we'll have adjustable capacitors to get that done <clears throat> anyway that's looking good. Talk to you guys later.